first thing, I'm a cheater. I put tape on. Um, so I'm going to try and go with something that kind of matches my beautiful nails. Um, so I'm going to go in with like a liner and put in black here and then kind of smudge it out. So. Looks like that, and then we're gonna remember this doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to try and smudge it out and smear it out as best as you can. So I'm really horrible at telling you like how I do this because I got some weird eye shapes, I guess. It's like an almond with like a slightly hooded eye, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just I put this black liner on. Um, it's the NYX, the NYX Epic Wear Stick Liner. And then I just put that all over my lid and then just smoking that shit out. Just blending until you can't blend no more. Now that you're looking all nice and uh, raccoon eyed, now you can go in with some color. I am going to go in with. I'm gonna go in with like this purpley green is the, the evidence color and I'm gonna try and put it in like right here on the inner corners over this black so it's looking a little rough right now but I'm just gonna keep going in patting in that green and smoking it out see what I can do Okay, so now that I got that green nicely laid down, the spring light is not making it look pretty, but I'm going to go in with the dark black paranormal and then I'm going to darken this up and then I'm going to try and get it all blended together. Okay, so now that we have something done here. I personally, this is the way I do it. This is the way I like to do my makeup. Um, I got my eyes done. Usually I moisturize and I prime before I do my eye makeup, but I was impatient. So we're gonna work with it. I use the Gold Bond Radiance Renewal um, for my face because I have a lot of eczema and stuff. So I use this to hydrate my skin. And then depending on the coverage that I want, I will go in with like the um, Makeup Revolution Pore Blur Primer or I will go in with the Revolution Pro Hydrating Primer Serum. Just depending on what I want. Today, since you know we're super broke out, we're going to go in with the pore blurring primer and I'm just going to get that all across my face and my forehead to prime up the skin. Okay, now while we wait for all of that to set in, um, I'm going to get my foundation ready. 
I use the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hydrolonic Acid, uh, medium to full coverage. Ah, I am a very weird shade of pale, and so I use the F1 mixed with a little bit of the F4 just to kind of give me definition, the like color definition to my skin without completely whiting me out. When I mix the two shades, it looks like that, as you can see, covers up my tattoos pretty well. And then I personally like to go in first and kind of paint my face. And then I will go in with a blender and pat it out. And now that you are all cakey, <laughs> you just begin to bounce. So I know that this lighting is horrible. Um, I'm still blending out, but one thing I wanted to show you was look at the coverage that it has. So that is a full black tattoo underneath that. And it's got some pretty decent coverage. So we're just going to continue to work this until we're happy. Now that we are all ghostly, I don't know why it looks so white. Because it does not look this white in everything else. Um, there we go. Um, so now that you have all of this on, I typically will go in with the Revolution, sorry, Makeup Revolution. Uh, conceal and Hydrate, Radiance Concealer with Hydrolonic Acid, Hi, sorry, hydro, Hydrolonic and Acai, medium to full coverage. And this is in C1. So when I'm doing this, I will typically just do it right here on the bridge of my nose and kind of bring it down. And then I do it right here. And then I kind of just drag it down here into my lovely bags. And I try and blend this out as good as I can. And you'll do the same thing on both sides. Okay, now that I have it on where I showed you, I will take my tried and true air spun and just pat my powder in. Sometimes I will go in with my makeup revolution face powder and translucent and we'll just let it bake and then usually I will go on to my contour. Okay so now that you look like a crazy person this is personally how I contour my face. Obviously everyone's different. I go right down my cheekbones, across my jawline down my nose and then I get the top of my forehead right here. We're gonna blend it all out. My phone is dying, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, so now that I have majority of like my contouring going on, I will put powder obviously underneath my eyes. They're still baking and then I have it right here on my jawline. I'm going to get this all wiped off and then I'm going to go in and add my highlight and my blush and then I'm going to get my lashes and stuff on and then we are going to do the lip color together. 
So I cannot find my blush. So I am actually gonna go in very lightly in the Jaclyn Hill uh, palette volume number two. And we're going to dip into the Lolly Mama and the Tipsy Girl. So um, these two right here and just kind of blend them and then we're going to go in right here across the nose and back over on the other half. And then I just kind of bring it in. And push it out. That's all I do. I'm gonna go until I feel I have enough pink back in my face. So one of my favorite highlighters that I have been using is the Wet n Wild Megalo Highlight Powder. Um, it's called Winter's Fall LA. Um, I personally don't know how long I've had it for, but I just get it here. Get that on my Cupid's bow. And then obviously get it right here. And as you can see, that kind of just helps bring in the final touches. There is a hair on my nose. Um, kind of brings in all the final touches. And then we'll go do the liner and smoke out the bottom here. And then try a lipstick together. So the liner I'm going to use to just kind of accentuate my wing thing going on here is I'm going in with the Zura Cosmetic Black Liner. I just dropped it. The Zura Cosmetics Black Liner, um, definitely one of my favorite go-tos. It's a really easy glide. Just... Okay, so overall, here is my final look. I have the green smoked out and then I put on the rebel lip not a fan i had to put two layers on it. it's really sticky it doesn't dry very fast it's beautiful but definitely not drying the way that i would like it to but overall i'm really loving the product gorgeous and matches my nails okay so overall i really really love the lashes i really love the um shadows the black lipstick that I bought will not stay on my lips. I have cleaned them. I've tried to redo everything on like this part of my mouth and it will not stay. You smack them and it just peels right off. So I don't know if I got a bad lipstick or what, but I don't recommend at least the black one. It does not work for me. But everything else, love it. <laughs>